Hi guys, welcome back to Karamia's Corner. Join me today for a little journal with me session. It's been a while since I posted this type of video, so today I'll be working in my mood journal. And I'll be sharing, uh, throwing something a little different in the mix and including a mini vlog of a long overdue date night with my husband. We headed to San Francisco and had a wonderful dinner and that dinner was canceled twice due to COVID and they finally called and said we're reopening so it was definitely worth the wait. So a little background my husband and I love to travel together and also experience unique dining experiences. In the last five years I would say we decided to just save up combine our birthday celebrations and wedding anniversary into one big just you know, wonderful um, dinner together. And this particular restaurant um, I was drawn to because we came to know of the chef's work through Iron Chef on Food Network. So if you know or watch that show, comment below. So Dominique, Chef Dominique Kren is an amazing chef, but she is also an artist. So she presented our dinner through a poem that she wrote and it was just wonderful and magical and hear all the stories through the staff as they presented the food and the food was amazing. So for myself, I love watching crafty videos, but I also love watching travel vlogs and food vlogs and living vicariously through people and seeing a different food that they eat from street food to uh, fine dining. And so I thought I'd take you along. I know it's a little hard to travel at the moment. And since we're close to San Francisco, we're about 45 minutes away. I thought I'd take you on this mini trip that we took. And I thought you would appreciate it because of the uh, creativeness of this chef and how she presented the food. And so at the end, I will be doing a little journaling and creating a little entry here. So let's get right to the vlog. Here we are driving across the San Francisco Bay Bridge, headed to the Fillmore District, and a quick look at the famous Transamerica building in downtown San Francisco. Now welcome to Atelier Kren. Next door, their bar was closed due to COVID, but we had the pleasure of having our dessert there. Inside, it is very intimate. It had a very unassuming laid back ambiance, which I love. On the wall, she has those rectangular tiles that had a poem she had written dedicated to her father, and she displayed some of his paintings in the restaurant. Our first course begins with the first line of her poem. Check out the presentation. This one was a one bite delight, and it was a great way to start the evening. The second course was inspired by her trips to Japan, and she loves sea urchin, which they call uni, and this was magically presented with a glass dome and I was too slow to put on my camera, but here is what it looked like. Again, it was delicious. Now this next pair are delicately prepared oysters that were buried underneath this facade of ice salt that were shaped like an oyster on top of that beautiful shell. It was so good. Now, we did have to dine with our mask on, but we were able to take it off if we had to drink or eat and enjoy our meal. So our next dish is a leek tart with gold flakes. This was interesting. I love the leek uh, stalks. They tasted like caramel crisp. And their silverware was really beautiful as well. They have these seashell made spoons that I thought were really pretty. Now on to the next course. This time we have some spot prawn and seaweed enway with some of that yummy bouillon or broth. So he's putting like that foam uh, on the top and you'll see some sea grapes on top as well. Now this next one is a deconstructed French onion soup. Check out the presentation. It was just so delightful look at that that is so cool we had the broth on the side and some biscuit crepes on the side there now this next dish had to be 
my favorite course of the evening. The butter that went on the brioche was out of this world and it had these edible flowers. It was so good and I could eat that brioche every day. Now this one, oh my god, it was so good. It was abalone with cabbage and smoked mussel with some parsley sauce. It was so good. The poem continues and we were served our next course which was McFarland spring trout in farm vegetables but again simply laid on this clay little plate and then you have that beautiful garden variety with some edible flowers it was so good and then we have um they say in france and europe they usually end with salad and cheese before dessert so they had this beautiful bed of lettuce variety in this cute little log and underneath was goat cheese. Now we head on to Cranbar. Do you recognize the clutch? Here's a little look inside her bar. She has a little library on the left and then we have the bar here. Look at that fixture. They also had this beautiful wine bar book and I love the artwork on that. We had a little toast with some wine and on to our dessert. Now this one is inspired by a daisy flower and it's a like a granita or it, it's a palate cleanser so it's a great way to end the evening. But this was not my favorite dessert. It's coming up. It is this honeycomb waffle and it has honey and verbena. At first I thought it was going to be heavy but it just was slight and it just melted in your mouth. And if you love dessert, you will love this. Now this one's her take on avocado toast. Now remember it is a sweet dessert. So it was just, again, not too sweet really delicate and here's a look on top with some edible florals and sprouts and it was so good and we ended the evening with this sweet trio here there was some marzipan and those round balls are chocolate it was delicious i hope you guys enjoyed that mini vlog today i'm going to be using this little kit here that my dear friend joanne had sent to me for my birthday and funnily enough, it's called Our Atelier. And the restaurant that we went to had Atelier Cren or Atelier in the, in the name. So I have some of my pictures out and I kind of cut them out like little Polaroids. And this is the little souvenir menu that they had. Very minimalist. And I love that this was stitched. It has the wine list that we had here wine pairing and then it says happy wedding anniversary they have a cute little embossed um, image here of their logo and so i want to put this on our page i also have my little stationary sheet where i'll be writing my uh, thoughts on that experience and this is just a little sticker so let's get started i'm just gonna go ahead and play some music in the background as I go along with my um, journaling here but let me just take a look and see what ephemera will be using look at this beautiful kit so our dinner was a pescatarian dinner which was all seafood and I see that we have some of these shells I think I like that we'll add this as well just trying to see if there's anything else this is more letter base let me just check the other envelope have this i think that's nice for anniversary maybe some fish let's see Um, the date, 
Yeah, we didn't have crab, but I think that first fish will work. Yeah, I think that that one, or actually this one might work better. Okay, and why not some of this nice paper as a background? And I think I'll put my letter in there. And let's see, I also had a set of stamps that I'll be using from this kit. So I'm going to go ahead and start journaling.
Here's a final look at my little journal entry of our date night. Um, went with a collage with some layering with some of the vintage themed ephemera that came with this kit. Some pictures, snippets of her poem. Did a little stamping here and that came with the kit as well. Uh, calendar, put a little heart on May in a circle on the day we went, which was the 21st. Love this sentiment. Little coffee dyed doily on our menu. For color, added this little piece here for the yellow. And on top of our envelope or menu flap, I added a wax seal with some gold on top. Inside, I wanted to just keep it simple like the menu. Remove that library card washi and decided to go with this starburst looking image uh, vellum sticker. I think it looked and it matched the logo better. So the only missing part I have left is to print a photo of me and my husband and put it underneath here. I love flips and little secret spots in my journal so I'm going to put it in there. Now um, if you'd like to see some of the other pages that I've worked on in my mood journal, comment below and let me know if you'd like to see more of this type of content. I hope you guys are having a wonderful weekend. Thanks again for watching Karamia's Corner. See you next time. Bye.